Hi, so today I have two very special guests. You're gonna be so surprised. I have sketchbook number 10 and number 11. Those, those are my guests. So my first video on this channel was a sketchbook tour and it is my video with the most views. So that made me think, wait, do people actually like looking at sketch, oh, excuse me, sketchbook tours? So um, I went home this weekend, like this past weekend, and I brought all of my old sketchbooks back. So today we are going to be looking at sketchbooks 10 and 11 just because I have the freedom to do so. So uh, that's what we're doing today. So I hope you stick around, hope you enjoy it. Hope you find some inspiration from your sketchbooks. I think these are my two sketchbooks where I really started experimenting with just a bunch of different stuff rather than just pencil and eraser. Um, so hopefully you find some inspiration for your sketchbooks. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. Sketchbook number 10 right here. You can see it's numbered very nicely and there's a lot of stickers because I have too many. I think there's some on the back. Yeah. This is me when I was actually practicing hands and I was actually really good at them and now I can't do it. I literally physically cannot. Maybe I'll try to draw a hand. Let me try to draw a hand right now. This is sketchbook number 12. I have not touched this in a, a bit actually. Um, I'm going to try to draw a hand. Um, I'm going to try to draw one of the ones from here actually. I don't know which one though. I guess I'll aim for this one. It's definitely not my best, but it also definitely could have been worse. Okay, continuing on with number 10. Oh, this is a really cool thing. I actually took inspiration from, I think, an Instagram reel. Um, yeah, I took inspo from an Instagram reel. Sorry, I'm like standing up also, so like if, oh, that was my chair. Sorry, if I'm also standing up, so if my audio starts getting weird randomly, it's because I probably stood up. And when it gets a little more like, you know, fancy or whatever, or like when I'm talking in ASMR, or when I'm talking in ASMR like this. Yeah, that means I'm closer to the microphone, obviously. Um, this is really cool. I don't remember, yeah, the drawing under was just like this. It's just like spiral and stuff, and I just did this on top because I thought it looked cool. Oh, I love this one. I don't know why. There's something about it. Um, I love the colors. Just, I think this was my first time ever using paint inside of a sketchbook. Um, it's my first experience using it and I had a lot of fun with it. I really liked how it turned out. This is also my first time like, like I don't really think I sketched it much. I think I just sketched like the outline of it. But like I didn't actually like, like I kind of went out of the outline and I thought it looked, I thought, I thought it looks pretty cool. Not looks, I thought it looked pretty cool. A little page that, or a page that my little sister did in my sketchbook because I let her have one. Oh yeah, this is my first time ever learning perspective, period, actually. Like the proper way. I always knew how to do it in theory, but never with the guidelines and stuff. So this is one point, two point, and I did not like three point at all. And I haven't done it since. <laughs> oh, I love this page. My pens were actually running out so much and like my highlighters, but I would have done this side too. I'm pretty sure it was like beta fish or something, but I don't know why I called them love fish, um, but I just did. So <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Oh, here we go. This right here was also made with paint. Um, I, why does my chair keep doing that? I don't know. I don't know if you can even hear it. So I had this, I don't know, I forgot what it was called, but it was like a paste that you add inside of paint and it basically thickens it up and it's kind of hard to tell. It's a little hard to tell, but it's very much thick paint. They're not thick, but like I can feel the page. Like you can you can see it a bit. If I hold this sideways, 
Okay, it's still kind of hard to see. But, yeah. So I had leftover from a different project, like a project I was doing or something like that. And, yeah, and then I just scratched into it and made it look, like, really cool. And I love I think this is my favorite page out of the entire sketchbook. Oh, this is, like, my book bag. I drew this in my chemistry class, I'm pretty sure. It's just my book bag. I just think it looks cool. I like, I like my experiment with colors in this sketchbook as well. Oh, self-portraits. These actually looked like me. My hair is not this short anymore. It is not. It's up to about here now. My bangs are still there. My scars are still there. My acne scars. My glasses are still there. So this is still me. Except for the fact that my hair is longer now. Oh my god, I drew people from my class. Um, I thought this was really good. Like, I, I love, I love, I, I love doing it. This was my, uh, it was easier, obviously, because of masks and stuff. But it really helped me focus on proportions and just eyes a bit. Um, it really helped me, you know, I think it helped me with portraiture a bit. Uh, I'm still, str I still struggle a lot with, like, noses and stuff. But this was really good. Oh, there's this website called Line of Art, and it's for reference practice. You can, it's literally so cool. I don't know if I should, like, <laughs> it's just called Line of Art. You can do, there's so many references, references of food, landscapes, people. You can choose if the people are, like, adults, um, kids, um, teen. But obviously, for, like, the ones under 18, there's not going to be no nude models because that is illegal. But you can choose if they're nude or if they're clothes. It's really cool, or clothes. And you can choose how long they show the photo. So you can do, like, really fast practices, too. This one was, I think, five minutes. But it's so cool. I really recommend it if you're trying to get into, like, more, like, if you're just trying to practice in general. But I use it more to practice anatomy and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's another one of um, Line of Art as well. And this is from an AP art piece. Um, I'll show the the real piece, the finished piece right now. Um, and this was the, this was the sketch for it. Oh, these are cool. Hold on, let me put this properly. These are some like, yeah, some still lives with these brown colored. Why does my chair do that? Every time I sit down, okay. I don't know. These um, brown like an ochre pencils. Um, and I use some graphite here. I can see it reflecting. Um, this is my guitar that I left at home. A string broke, sadly. The neck is definitely too small, whatever. My normal guitar that I have with me, my ukulele, my record player, and my bookshelf. So yeah, I think they're pretty damn cool. Oh my god, this is a page of one of my friends and I's pets. So this is her cat. Her name is Tostada. And I called her Toast. And this is my dog, one of my dogs, Champ. And we call him Champu, like shampoo. Um, but in like a Spanish accent, like a Hispanic, like Latin accent. So Champu. Yeah. And we just, they're just both big memes. So I just drew them both because they're really funny. <gasps> More drawings of people. Oh my god, yeah. These are some of me and my friends. Ugh, I love this page so much. I love this page. It is incredible. I just, I just love it. I love Emily, I miss you. Yana Jade, I miss you. And other Emily, Emily Canas, I miss you too. Davidson, you too. Gio, you too. I miss y'all. This one is really cool. This is also more people. Um, again, easier because of masks, but people in my um, my guitar class in uh, in junior year as well. So yeah. Oh, even more people from my math class. And that is the end of my sketchbook. Time for number 11. Oh shit. Okay, this is number 11. Am I still recording? Just making sure. Okay, this is number 11 here. Um, there's no stickers on this one, but this one, compared to this one, is a lot more full, clearly. Because this one, this one I did a lot. This is my most recent one. This is the one I showed last class. Uh, not last class, what am, I, what am I yapping about? Last, no, first video. This is number 12. This is how number 12 is. This is number 11. 
So 12 is on its way to being a number 11. You can clearly see my progression and my, my like how much more comfortable I got in experimenting. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of sketchbooks, I think. It's not to like record an early sketch of a famous painting or incredible painting you do. It's supposed to be practice and it's supposed to be a record of proof, like showing that like you're willing to experiment and do so many random things in a teeny tiny book. I just think it's so cool. Okay, number 11, here we go. This was on the airplane to Colombia last December, 2022, going to 2023. Um, no, 2023, yeah, 2022 to 2023. Yes. So this was a smart water that I drew because I was really, really bored. Oh my God, I drew this girl, not a real girl, a girl from my head. She's so pretty. Oh my god. I have an obsession with drawing the sun and the moon in humanoid women form in the sketchbook. So th th this is my favorite sketch version I've ever done of them. This is the moon. This is the sun. This is my favorite. I'm trying to get back into this style. Whatever style I drew this in is gorgeous and I need the power to bring this back. Like I need to bring this back. Like I can't. Oh, this is me in this thing called gallery night that my high school used to do, or they still do it, but obviously I am not there anymore. Um, and you, you can perform, you can do poetry, you can sing, you can dance, you can do whatever. And I sang, um, I sang with my guitar. This, it looks kind of small here. It looks more like a ukulele and it's definitely bigger here. My dress was definitely longer, but I just drew myself and I thought it looked cute. Like this was myself for my head, um, not from a photo. And this, I loved this pen. This was like a fountain pen. Ugh, it ran out of ink. I'm so sad. But yeah, I love this one. I don't know what... I, this song, I associate it with the bug collector. Um, I just think... I don't know. I just really like this one. I messed a prize. That's why she has a blindfold. Oh my god. I used to work at Denny's, you guys. Here's some lore. I used to work at Denny's and I used to do the chalkboards. Um, so here's a chalkboard I did. Uh, it was for Valentine's Day. And it would always be like, you know, telling, I would always like come up with different little plays for like um, Google reviews and like giving five stars. So for this one, it was like, it was five stars. I should have done five hearts, but like, yeah, I just had these, I, these were so fun to do. Oh, here's another one that I also did also for Valentine's Day, but this was the front chalkboard and it was to promote alcohol and milkshakes because a lot of people didn't actually know that Danny sells alcohol. So yeah. Oh my god, Bleeding Hearts and Bluebells, two of my favorite flowers literally in the world. I just have SAT tips in here too. <laughs> oh my god, I love this series of like, I think it's like four, three or four sketches of like just Greek statues. Um, this is Apollo and Daphne, obviously. I love the story behind this one. It's great. Actually, it's kind of sad, but it's, it's an interesting story. We have the Athena Parthenos. I think that's how it's pronounced. This one's not very good. I put too much detail into her face. It looks too cartoony. Without it, it looks amazing. Don't like the face, though, but it's fine. Ugh, Cupid and Psyche. Like, stop. I'll cry. Like, I'll gag. Like, I literally... I love Cupid and Psyche. Like, the story. It's still, it's still a tragic story because it's mythology. And then we have Apollo right here. This was a still life I did um, of just my desk back home. Um, yeah, I had like a mini frog on a rock. I had my candle and my candle warmer or whatever, my mini trash can. This was fun. This was fun to do. And then for some reason, I just did a bunch of origami heart rings because I didn't know how to do normal origami hearts. And I was too lazy to search it up. So I just did a bunch of heart rings eyeballs well in the sky gay people are so cool here's another thing with like experimenting with sticky notes and stuff like that it just looks really like it's interesting how it looks so clean here and so messy here i just liked it <laughs> another denny's except denny denny's was collabing with my school and i had to work that day and i saw people from my school another one of me and my friends i love these i messed this up here so i did a sticky note to fix it even more. 
this is an inside joke between me and my friends. Um, one of my friends, the one I did a previous video with that I will link right here, um, again, because I linked it earlier. <laughs> um, she has this baby, this fake baby doll thing that she got at like um, the Dollar Tree, I think, or something. And her name was Ribbon or Clementine. I don't remember. So Ribbon Clementine. And we just drew all over her. And we just have so much lore for her. She has tattoos now. She had makeup. She was actually kidnapped at one point. Um, it was crazy. It was a crazy time. So I drew her. My friends and I, so my art teacher had this tradition that the seniors were allowed to paint a ceiling tile. So me, my, me, Yana, and Emily, which were my two friends, we did jellyfish and we did them in different colors and different styles. And they were glowing and they're so freaking cool. Ugh, I love it. You know what? I will dig for the photo and I will show what it looks like because it's too good not to show. So here it is. Here's like a cat tree, but it's like on a heart with an eyeball for some reason. Oh, I love this page. I don't know why. I think it's like how playful the, the way I colored it looks. But it's just butterflies in your lungs for some reason instead of your belly. Um, and there's flowers growing out of them. I don't know. Oh my god. This, you could tell my highlighters were definitely dying. So I was like, you know what? They're dying. Let me draw and make art out of them. So I created this. And I don't know how I did that. Once again, we have the sun and the moon. You can see that I have very distinct ways that I like them being drawn. This one's got wavy, like the sun's got wavy hair, like super like long and flowy and then just big. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. And then the moon is very much like um, straight hair, like pin straight, very kind of like wet looking, but it's not wet. You know what I mean? They're just so damn cute. This was my friend. Um, this is a photo that I took of him. Um, we were in a trip, and he had, like, it was like a trip for, like, a school thing. Like, it's too much to explain, but basically, I was meeting up with him in, like, our hotel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he was outside, and he had fallen asleep. But it was such a, like, I distinctly remember how nice it was outside. It was so sunny, but it was so windy, and it was, like, such a breeze. So I'm not surprised that he fell asleep. So I took a photo of him, and I drew him. I also think it's, like, pretty poetic. It's, like, a really pretty scene, you know what I mean? Like, the asymmetry in, like, the chairs. The fact that this one's straight, this one's not. I like the fact that the rest is symmetrical, though, basically. You know what I mean? In a way. Zoom out a bit more. No. Can you zoom out more? Yeah. This right here um, is interesting because it's just a bunch of crap I put together. Like, this is like this rusted like metal I got from Dollar Tree. More things. All of this is from Dollar Tree, basically. But I just put a bunch of crap together. So if you're ever stressed about putting stuff in your sketchbook and you don't know what to do and you want it to look good, remember that like this is what's in mine. And to make you feel better, there are so many pages I have. And if you don't like a page, all you have to do is do this. Just fold it. Just fold it and start a new one. You know what I mean? You don't have to be stressed about doing your sketchbook. If you're, if you're worried about creating something ugly, all you have to do is either rip it out or fold the page over. I don't like ripping them out, personally. Um, but you can always do that. You know what I mean? It's your sketchbook. You paid for it, so use it. Oh, I just drew a bunch of sketches of birds because I really love birds. Like, I think they're so... In I don't know a lot of facts about them. I just really love the way that they look and the fact that they can fly. Well, not some of them, but you know what I mean. Well, this is like my... I don't know what the hell this is, but this is like my sketch for like this manta ray that I did. Um, this physical manta ray. I actually will be posting a tutorial on it eventually when I make it. Um... But for now, I haven't I haven't made a manta ray yet, so I can't do a tutorial. But a manta ray cardboard tutorial will come. Painting and everything. Oh, a seahorse and some mushrooms. Casually. Right next to each other, you know. The norm. Oh, and that was it. Goodbye, dear sketchbook. <laughs> so yeah, that was my sketchbook tour. Upside down, happy face. That was my sketchbook tour for sketchbooks 10 and 11. And we've already done a tour for number 12, even though it's not finished yet, but you've already seen most of it. Um, so I guess we're going to have to just catch up with the other sketchbooks in further videos. So if you, if you want to see 
my sketchbooks dating back. I have sketchbooks from when I was 10 years old, okay? 10 years old. I still have those sketchbooks, and I have them with me. They are right behind me. So if you want to see, you know, my sketchbooks from when I was younger compared to my most recent sketchbook, which is number 12, then, you know, comment down below, leave a like, you know, follow, you know, I'll, I'll do it eventually. You guys, here are all my sketchbooks, by the way. Hold on. I'm zooming out, zooming out. Here are all my sketchbooks. Uh, I'm going to organize them really quickly. Hold on. So this is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. So yeah, my sketchbooks. <laughs> you know what, why the hell not? Since I did this in my last sketchbook tour, giving you um, a tour of my, my drawing class sketchbook, I might as well do it again now because there has been more added, obviously, because last time I did it, it, I was like two weeks into the class and now I am six weeks in. So I'm going to give you an update. So last time I showed you the sphere and last time I showed you the sphere, these drawings are here, and all of these gestural drawings that I had done for practice, just because I, I really felt like it. But now we have a bunch of demonstrations that my teacher, like he has us copy what he does in our sketchbooks so that we understand the technique, I guess. This was just for fun, but this is the technique that we were supposed to do, negative still life, which I posted a time lapse about it which I will be linking right now. Here's where we started going. He was going over like, I don't really know what the method was. It was another still life, of course. Um, but we had to basically use lines to guide our way instead of like it being like a, like a, what's it called? A grid. It was more like you do a line of like where the, ta the top of the table is so that you can see where it intersects with this bucket, whatever. Basically, we drew buckets and it was very, very complicated. Nobody liked doing it. Here is um, another still life. I don't know what the technique for this one was. We just kind of drew it. Here is just a, uh, he had us just draw an object that was on the, on the display thingy. And then I tried, so I just drew a bottle and then I outlined it because I thought it looked really cool. And then I tried drawing this star shape that was on there, but it was way too complicated for my brain to understand. Trust me, this is not good. The shading is fine, but this is not what it looks like. Then we were going over like just doing abstract shapes, so he gave us these shapes to do. And we just kind of had to create something out of it. So this is a sketch I made after I made the, the, the actual official paper for class, but yeah. And he had us do a bunch of, I was supposed to do, I was supposed to do way more than these, but it's just a bunch of little thumbnails, he called them, of um, just random abstract thingies. And I just colored them in because I felt like it. Here's, ugh. The one paint perspective hallway drawing. This is just his demonstration once more. Um, that one was not a fun one, I'll admit. Here is more two point perspective. Um, no, this is still one point. This is two point right here, and then this was one point as well, but I just drew it in because I felt like it. I did a three point just to show one of my friends what it was, um, but you know, we didn't do that. And this is another two point, another two point right there. Is that in the video? Nope, up here. Another two point. And contour line drawing is actually something that we have to do on Monday. Um, maybe I'll make a video out of it or I'll make a reel out of, or not a reel, a shorts out of it. Um, Cause this one is not gonna take me too long, but yeah. We had to do a gestural drawing yesterday. And then we also had to do contour drawings in our sketchbooks. So here are the ones I did of skulls, by the way. Trust me, this is not a butthole. This is definitely, this is the back of a skull, I swear. You can see, where is it? You can see this is like the face and this is like where the nose is, I swear. And then here is, um, here's another one. This one, this one's really cool. And that is all I have for my sketchbook so far. So you are seeing, you're seeing the sketchbook being made this sketch you are watching this like as as this sketchbook is being produced this is going to be in a future sketchbook tour you know what i mean so this is this is pretty damn cool that you get to see this in the making 
So, if you like that sketchbook tour, subscribe, give a like. You can watch my other one, which I will be linking up here, up there. I don't. I have to learn which side of the, the little icon is. Um, if you liked this one, go check out my first video. Um, it's the same thing, just a sketchbook tour of my most recent sketchbook. I'm kind of going backwards because I didn't have my older ones, like I didn't have access to them, but now I brought them from home because I visited home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be posting probably a lot more of those in the future. I don't plan on stop, like, on not getting sketchbooks and I don't plan on like stopping with my sketches. Like, uh, I don't plan on, on like, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. There will be more sketchbook tours in the future. Okay, so give a like, subscribe, check out my other videos. You might like them. If you don't, just click off. It's okay. I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to me now. Thank you. Bye.